What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Stone Block. Oh, yeah, guys. So last episode, we set up the super cheaty thing here <laughs> with all of our void ore miners, right? Uh, we've been trying to collect a lot of erodium. Um, I decided that the one storage crate was not going to be enough with how slow we're getting the erodium compared to all the other ores. So I made a few more of these small storage crates, and I've been kind of camping the one that's been collecting all the resource from these guys and putting all the ores that we're getting into here. So you can see we have one small storage crate full of all sorts of stuff here. We have another small storage crate that is pretty much full, not quite 100% full. Uh, one of these stacks, yeah, like the copper ore isn't 100% and, you know, whatever. It's it's pretty much full, though. Um, where did that come from? <laughs> can I put that back in here? Get in there. Uh, then over here we have a little bit more of an overflow so we've been getting quite a lot of resource and we are still collecting resources right now but the big thing is we were trying to get this erodium yeah we want to get the erodium so we can make ourselves a crystal lens so we can focus on getting crystals faster and upgrade to the tier two uh the tier two or minor yeah the tier two or minor will allow us to get uh, speed upgrades into it, which will allow us to make it faster overall. We don't have to have as many of these separate tier ones running. I think it's just going to be better for us in the long run. So our first goal is to come up here. We can take apart this tier one thing. I believe we have to reuse all of these blocks here. Structure frame tier two. Uh, yeah, it does require the tier one in the recipe plus this erodium. So Let's go ahead and grab all of this. The uh, multi-block structure doesn't have to be there in order for those other things to work since we are kind of using a cheaty method, but we do have to have that there in order to initialize them to start with. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and upgrade, well, I guess make ourselves a tier two void or miner. I'll leave everything downstairs as it is, so we'll make another tier one controller I think we have to do. I keep getting these weird lag spikes every couple of seconds. Um, first things first, digital guide. Let's take a look at this thing. So the digital guide for the void or minor tier two requires 32 structure frame tier twos and 16 structure panels. The previous one required 20, so we should have 20 on us. We don't need four of those. We'll put those away. Okay, so our structure panels are fine. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff in here too. Okay. And I guess I don't need that or these structure frame tier ones. We're going to need those to upgrade. Uh, so back to the book, 32 structure panel or structure frame tier twos. So let's make a recipe for that. All right, and we'll just throw it in here. Where did I put the structures? There it is. All right, 32, 32. Structure tier two, 32. All right, well, it looks like we have everything ready. Let's just tell it to go. All right, and just like so, it is done. Awesome. So moving on, we need either null modifiers or speed modifiers or accuracy modifiers. We're going to go ahead and go with the speed modifier, and I believe it was four, right? Yeah, four modifiers. So we need... Did I ever add those in here? We have null modifiers in here. We want to do speed modifiers. So let's go ahead and make ourselves... Uh, a recipe modifier as we go up in tiers oh each one of those requires one of these i did not realize that okay oh and it also requires mica ah no i completely ignored the fact that we we're gonna need mica for that okay so we're gonna have to do something else here so we need a white laser lens but this is gonna be using the resource miner controller I wonder if we can make a void resource miner tier two as well. We might be able to do that. Ah, okay, yeah, I, I did not plan ahead for that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's a problem. So we can't do the speed modifiers. So we'll do the null modifiers for now because we have to have those in order for the multi-block to even work. Okay, and then we need a uh, void or miner tier two. Well, let's make a recipe for that since I believe, yeah, the tier one is using the tier two and the tier two is using the next ones, etc., etc. So let's put that in here. That looks like the right stuff. Okay. We'll add that to our collection here. 
Void Orb Miner Controller Tier 2. Void. Oh, you know what? We don't have a recipe to tell the system how to make the Erodium, so we need to do that as well. For the Erodium blocks, that is. So we will... We won't. <laughs> Uh, clear this. I was trying to right click it over it and wouldn't right click over it. Is that not how you make the erodium? Why is that not? Okay, it didn't update. That's weird. Well, here we go. We got it anyway. So we'll throw that, I guess, right here. And then we should be able to do void or minor controller tier two. Start. Are we good? Do we have everything? It looks like we have everything. So let's start that up. And what's the crafting process is done? Void or minor. Cool, so here's our tier two. So then we have the null modifiers, we have the structure frames, we have the structure panels. So we are missing three laser cores and one clear laser lens, laser core. Okay, so there's three of those, and then a clear laser lens, but we wanna make the crystal laser lens as well, and we want a white one so we can focus on mica for the void resource miner. Okay, so let's make a second one of these. We'll put that with bone meal. That should get us our white one. White laser lens. Then we want to make ourselves a crystal laser lens. That requires more erodium. Okay, so six more of these. I think that's going to be well worth the price for that. And there's a crystal laser lens. Okay, so we have both of those. We have everything set up now to get ourselves a tier two void or minor so let's look at the void resource minor this is going to be kind of important for us to do so we can get the speed modifiers going uh so let's make a recipe for the tier one and then we'll make a recipe for the tier two since we are going to be having the structure already set up for our void or minor tier two so we'll do one of those as well okay so we can add those to our collection this one uh so yeah we'll put those right here so there's our void resource so void resource minor controller tier two start and just turn it on let it do its thing and done cool so now we should have everything ready to go for both tier two void resource and void or mining okay so let's grab ourselves um Probably, I don't know if we're going to need these cardboard boxes. I don't know how much more of this stuff we're going to be doing, but we definitely need to get ourselves that mica for the speed modifiers. Otherwise, I mean, the the tier two is faster, but it's not like significantly faster unless you put the speed modifiers in. So like, for instance, the tier ones, you get one or every 400 ticks. The tier two, you get it every... 320 so it is slightly faster but with the speed modifiers you get it every 80 and that's what we really want that's going to be significant for us getting resources here um so what we want to do is go back to the mining dimension we want to set up the structure do i have the assembler you know what? i don't have the assembler uh what do i do with the assembler I'm not sure what I do with my assembler. Is it in my thing here? It's right there. Found it. Okay. So now we can go back here. <laughs> um, so I don't remember if the void or minor tier two, or I guess the tier two itself, is that a taller multi-block than the first one? Yeah. So this one was a seven by four by seven. This one's a seven by five by seven. I don't have any extra blocks. I guess I can just use some of these so we can place the controller. So let's do one, two, three or five and then we will place i guess we'll do the resource let's place that right here and then i'll get rid of these guys because they are obviously in the wrong spot all right very good we'll come up here and just hold right click on the assembler and we should have all the blocks for this the multi-block structure for the void resource and the void ore should be exactly the same is that everything okay we have a beam looks good so we have a crystal laser lens. We don't want that. We want to get ourselves the white laser lens. Okay. Uh, you know what? I guess I did forget. I did forgot. No, I did forget. <laughs> I forgot to bring a power supply and I don't have a chest so we can grab resources. So let me go grab that. Um, we need to get ourselves another flux point. We need some kind of a storage crate or a chest. 
and we'll start collecting resources from the void resource miner. Well, I have the void resource miner controller set up. We have power and we have a storage crate here and we are collecting resource. We did get two mica decently fast. Let's put this in our inventory real quick. So I'm sitting here using our acceleration wand on the void resource miner controller. And we've seen how the acceleration wand speeds up things like our chickens and, you know, other such things around the base, right? Well, after the amount of time that we've been sitting here and doing this, we have collected one item. I'm not even sure if the acceleration wand is working on the controller at all. <laughs> um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing, honestly. But anyway, we have two mica, right? So to make the speed modifier... Uh, we just needed two mica, a rhodium, and then the long, whatever this is, the L crystal. <laughs> All right. So we have everything for one speed modifier. So it feels like if we go back to the base, we make a speed modifier, put it in here. It should help speed this up to get more mica that much faster. So I'm definitely interested in every time we get two mica going back <laughs> and making ourselves another modifier, I guess upgrading our null modifier to a speed modifier so anyway we can throw that in here and do a speed modifier we should be a speed upgrade oh did i not make the speed modifier pattern i guess i didn't let's try doing that again i thought i made it but i guess it's not showing up uh so where is our null modifier is it in here pattern null modifier okay i'm gonna add that over here and i'll put the speed modifier next to it just so we can kind of keep them together, I guess. Uh, so speed modifier, we'll make one of these, that, and looks like we have everything very good. So we need more, we need more mica. And mica is gonna be the next thing that's holding us back. Uh, hopefully adding in this modifier will definitely speed up how fast we are collecting things. Let's get rid of that. That turns off the beam so everything is not working. We can add that in there. The beam should start back up and we should be able to collect resources just slightly faster. Not like crazy fast faster, but yeah, we definitely should see an improvement here on how fast resources are coming in. And then every single one of those will increase it. And then we, with all four modifiers in there, I think we're going to be getting... Uh, one resource every four seconds instead of every however long it is. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's going to be a lot of waiting around for this mica. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll spare you guys. <laughs> we'll be right back. Okay, guys. Well, a little time has passed, and I decided it would make a lot of sense for us to have our void resource miner going all the time. So I made a second structure over here, and yeah, we placed it. We placed it over here. Uh, it's got its own multi-block and all the speed upgrades. And we're just sitting here collecting mica. We've gotten six more. Well, to be fair, we've gotten more than that because we have a total of eight of these speed modifiers now, plus an additional six mica that's just kind of waiting to be used. Uh, so yeah, we have the tier two ore miner and the tier two resource miner both going, not in a cheaty way, <laughs> and they're just collecting resources. Uh, they both have their correct lens. That one's got the white lens. This one's got the crystal laser lens. And yeah, and we are collecting these different crystals at a fairly decent rate. Not like super fast, but, you know, 19 of these, 13 of those, and 5 of these with all of the ore that we've collected here. I think that's a much more reasonable amount. Yeah, I think we're going to be doing just fine. Okay, so we have this going. We have our void resource going which has gotten six more mica after we have speed modifiers eight different speed modifiers i think we'll be okay this is going to be chunk loaded it'll be running all the time we'll come back and take a look at it but we're not going to be able to just like speed through environmental tech in one sitting mm, no we're gonna have to like let this do its thing and mine up a few more of these resources each one of the different tiers if we want to go to the tier three for instance uh, the previous tier required 32, the next tier requires 56, which means we need more rhodium for more tier 2s and more litharite for the tier 1s, and then all of the cryonite, or whatever, is that what it is? Cryonite? Yeah. All the cryonite for this, nearly two stacks of cryonite. So, it's getting progressively more and more expensive, 
but it's going to be a lot better. Um, for instance, the tier three or minor or resource minor, if we have all the speed upgrades, we'll start gathering resources every 32 ticks instead of every 80 ticks. So that's a little bit faster than twice the speed, right? So yeah, it'll be pretty good. Anyway, uh, we can't just wait around for that to happen right now. We got stuff to do. So let's look at changing it up a little bit. We can do, I was kind of looking at the different quests here. Uh, the storage quest wants us to make some more of our storage disks. I think that's just fine. And we could probably finish up making these different keys. Try and knock out some of those quests. Maybe we'll get some really good rewards for doing it. That's pretty much the reason for doing the quests in the first place is to try and get the super powerful rewards. Maybe it's something that'll help us out. I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the quest book. So drawer key, personal key, drawer key, personal key. Let's try and make both of these. I think that should be fairly simple. Yeah, that's really easy. And then a personal key. Oh, that requires a name tag. I guess we had one. We're ready to go. All right. So that should complete that quest. Easy. Very easy. Uh, so let's go to the quest book. We'll claim our reward. We'll pop it. And viaducts. Okay, so it says it's a good reward. It's an okay reward. Let's be honest here. It's not like super great. <laughs> uh, and then upgrades. So all of the different upgrades, okay, well, that's pretty simple. Just all the storage upgrades. Let's do that storage upgrade. So to make the next one, or I guess to make one of these, we need to get ourselves the template. We already have those in auto craft. Let's just tell it to make like 10 of those. Okay, easy. So we'll do that. So there's a storage upgrade one. Then we'll do a storage upgrade two, followed by the three, the four, and the five. I think that's all I want us to do, right? Unless there's a second page of that quest. Nope, that's it. I'm noticing when it says quest complete, my pickaxe kind of has a weird gluey thing on it. I don't know if you guys noticed that too. Thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so this is all done. We can claim this and we'll pop it and we get ourselves two speed upgrades from extra utilities. Okay. Uh nothing like super overpowered or crazy good. <laughs> So let's do this. 1K storage disk all the way up to the 64K. I was kind of looking at our drives. We got all of these rewards so far. We've gotten these from, uh, quest, or yeah, I guess rewards, right? We have not quite finished two disks yet, and we still have six remaining. But as we're collecting resources, we are going to need more space. So definitely having a way to get all the storage disks is going to be helpful. So refined storage, we need one of these. So that does require a storage part and then this. So I guess we have to make recipes for all these storage parts. I think we have recipes already to make all these processors. So really it's just gonna be the component making all the patterns for these things, which I think is gonna be pretty simple to do. So we can just go ahead and make all the patterns for these guys in just a few seconds here. Easy. And then we're going to have to make the things to put them together into the discs, I suppose, as well. So we'll do, hmm, I guess we should do this one. So that is the 1K storage component. That's the 1K storage disc. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. And then we can do the 4K and the 16K followed by the 64K. I am noticing these have EMC on them, which will be quite nice once we get into Project D and we can start making EMC, but we're not there yet. So until then, we'll just go ahead and craft it this way. So we'll just go ahead and throw these guys in here like so. Okay, so I wanted us to have which, which ones? The 1K, the 4K, the 16K, and that's just a retrieval task. Okay, so 1K. Let's tell it to craft one of these. Easy. So that's just a free loot chest for us. Let's do the rest of these. Uh, so a 4K. Do that one. And 4K. All right, very good, very good. Followed by the 16K. 
And now I'm thinking about it, we could probably just pull one of our 64 key out of here, right? Out of our current stuff. It's just a retrieval task. Or maybe it's already registered that we had it but didn't complete it because it was locked out. I'm not sure. We'll see how that works. Okay, is it? No, this one still wants us to do it. So if I just take one of these and put it in my inventory, that should complete the other quest. Yeah, okay, very good. So we don't even have to make the other one. Awesome. So let's go through and we'll claim this one. We'll claim this one. And we'll claim that one. All right, so we get stone and wood. Nice. Just what I wanted. An Invar hammer. We get ourselves overclocker upgrade and transformer upgrade. And okay. Photovoltaic cells. Those aren't bad. That'll help us if we make more of our solar cells or our solar panels, I guess. All right, so all of that stuff is done. Very easy. I like it. Um, power generation. We were going to look at upgrading to a solar array tier two, and I can't remember. I assume that's going to be requiring more erodium. Uh, if we go to the digital guide, we can go home. And we can look at the solar array tier two. So this requires structure frame tier twos. It requires, I think we can use the same solar cells, just the litharite ones. It look like, yeah, litharite. So that's like the weakest ones. And then we need four modifiers, which we should already have because the tier one had that, right? So if we can make ourselves what is that? 16 more solar cells and uh, 24 structure frame tier twos. We should be pretty good. I'm going to go back. Uh, I'm going to disassemble our current solar array. Yeah, we're going to need the controller anyway. Uh, we can reuse the structure parts to upgrade it. So let's disassemble this and start the upgrade process here. So get rid of that. I guess we could have leave could have leave those. I don't know how the multi-block is going to be set up, so I kind of just want to get rid of everything here and redo it all. We'll just place the solar panel directly on top of that thing again, on top of our flux point there when we set it back up. And then our wand will place everything where it needs to be. But what I do want to see is can we make the next stage here? So solar, uh, solar array. Tier two. Oh, we need to be on. Oh, no, I was on the right one. So do this, make a pattern. Okay. We do have a spot in here for our solar arrays somewhere right there. Okay. So solar array tier two. Do it. We are missing 26 erodium and we're missing four erodium solar cells. Do we know how to make an erodium solar cell? I wonder. So that's a rhodium plus litharite plus these photovoltaic cells. Okay. Well, now this is where all the extra rhodium that we're going to be getting is going to come into play. We're definitely going to need more of that for all the structure frames too. So it's going to be kind of like a going back and forth process. <laughs> we should have a decent amount of rhodium, I believe, all the way down where our void or minor tier ones are. How are we doing here on this? We have 21... And then down below, let's go all the way down here and see where this is sitting at. Got to make sure I slow myself down or I will die. We are at 34. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we might not have enough to do a tier 2 solar panel, unfortunately. Well, did the quest just require us to have the solar or did it require us to have the entire structure set up? I'm not sure. I know that solar that we were doing was only making like 600 RF per tick. It wasn't like... A whole lot, but you know, it's extra power that we're generating. Let's grab this stuff here as well. Sort that. Okay. So, all of the different erodium that we have is on us. So, if we can't do it, we can't do it. It's just going to have to be one of those things where we're just going to AFK and wait. So, I guess we'll see how this is going here. All right. So, we'll throw all of this in here. And then we wanted to make the solar. Array controller tier two, if we tell it to start. So we're missing the erodium solar cell. So let's make a pattern for that. Do we have the photovoltaic cells? Yeah, we have those on auto craft. Okay. So we will just put the solar cell in here somewhere right there. And solar tier two. Start. Do it. 
the crafting. It seems like when I warp back and forth sometimes, um, the crafts just don't work. And I have to break the controller and then place the controller and then do it again. <laughs> and then it works. I don't know why it does that. There it goes. Okay, so there's a solar array controller tier two. Does that complete the quest? That does. Okay. Uh, so we can claim that. That's another quest complete. But I actually wanted to set this thing up. Uh, so we need 25 litherite cells. So we currently have four. And we need 25. So we need to get ourselves 21 more. Can we do that? It looks like we can do that. So let's do that. So those are crafting up. Yep, not a big deal. Then we are also going to need the structure. How many structures? We need 24 structure. All right, can we do 24? Ah, we're only missing 15 erodium. We're almost there, but yeah, unfortunately, we just don't have enough at this point. Ah, that's a bummer. Okay, well, if we don't have it, we don't have it. Let's pop our loot chest. We get ourselves some more nature cores. Well, I'm going to go and try and get the rest of the erodium that we need. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of ways that I can speed it up further. We could make more uh, void or minor tier twos. Do the same thing like we did with the tier ones. Put the crystal laser lenses there. But each one of those crystal laser lenses we saw requires six blocks of erodium which we have to wait on. So I don't know. I kind of feel like the way we have it set up right now might be the most efficient to get more of this stuff. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap the episode up here for today. I'm going to do a little bit more AF King. Like I said, hopefully we can get more of those crystals. It's probably going to be a good idea where we set up some kind of a drawer setup or maybe uh, do ender chests and send the resources back to our main system so we don't have to keep coming here and checking. Like we can just check our main system if we have the stuff. We'll probably be looking at that here very soon because warping back and forth is getting a little tedious. I do agree. But anyway, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.